I was such an awkward little girl, but I still didn't deserve what I got. It was the seventh grade. I was a new student. It was the holiday season and it was during this time that your parents would give you money so that you can buy a little token for your siblings and your friends. I just remember coming back to my school desk and there was a dog bone on my desk. And I remember thinking, okay, this is clever. Um, someone wanted to use their holiday money to make sure that I felt bad, mission accomplished. But at this point I had been subjected to so much teasing that I didn't even give it a lot of thought. It wasn't until COVID that those feelings came back and the feeling was loneliness. I did not feel connected. I felt alone. I felt like no one understood. And it was during this time that I ended up seeking therapy. And during this, um, during my therapy, I realized that I wanted everything in my life to be in alignment. Um, but it was a journey getting here. And um, I started Vax Plus Sum in 2020 at the basically the height of the pandemic just to distract myself. I didn't really have a plan. There was no strategy behind it. I just needed a distraction. And I was selling uh, motivational apparel and bags, unique bags. And it wasn't until um, more therapy and a lot more understanding of self and purpose and really the type of impact that I want to have on the community that I realized that I wanted to really just focus on faith-based apparel. My idea of my life is to encourage the power of God, to encourage people to seek first the kingdom of God. And I wanted to make sure that my store was in alignment with the rest of my life, which is all in that direction. And so Bags Plus Some became BPS Apparel, where I dropped the bags and focused just on inspiration that I received through meditation and through reading the word, like ask me about God and fearfully and wonderfully made, you know, just taking pieces of the Bible that's been so inspirational to me and putting the scripture on the sleeve to make sure that if anyone buys the apparel, that at least it's a jumping off conversation when someone is curious about what does that mean or how can I really feel comfortable in wearing a sweatshirt that invites people to have a conversation about God. And so that's really how it came to be. Do I think that my apparel will impact the community? Absolutely. Because I honestly feel like when you feel alone, you can't do anything for yourself. You're not interested. You're absolutely not interested, which means that you're not thinking about the well-being of your community and your neighbors at all. And whatever frustration, anger, fear that pops into your life will in fact be a your your community will feel the direct effects of that because you won't have the emotional intelligence to understand that what is really pressing on your spirit is something that you need to deal with internally versus lashing out at you know basically people that you don't know on social media so i am very proud of the place that we're at right now. I'm very excited for the next couple of years and really hoping to have an opportunity to just make the, the store grow and really have the type of impact that I know it can have if we encourage connectivity between all of us. Because if we could just be in silence and understand that we all want the same thing, which is love. Everybody wants to be loved.